Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. Today's clip is an overview of the new Polar Pro Wi-Fi tripod mount for your DJI Osmo Pocket. This clever little accessory makes it really easy to mount your Osmo Pocket with the wireless module attached to pretty much any tripod you have with an Arca Swiss mount or even a selfie stick with a quarter inch thread on it. Now, I've been testing this over the last couple of weeks, and for me, it's opened up a wide range of filming possibilities where I wanted to use my tripod previously, but couldn't because it was difficult to mount that wireless module on a tripod. And I usually ended up finding a flat surface near where I wanted to film, or stacked up books to get it to the right height, or worse, resorted to cable ties and gaffing tape to attach it to a tripod, and really nobody wants to see that. So having a device like this where I can slide the wireless module into it and mount it on my tripod very quickly is a home run. Now in the clip, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing and show you what comes in the kit, then I'll come back and explain how I use this thing, show you some examples out in the field, and I'll also talk about some of the cool hidden features that are built into it that you're gonna to wanna to hear about. So stay tuned and I'll do the unboxing next. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the Wi-Fi tripod adapter sitting in a nice little plastic carrier so it's well protected during shipping. Underneath that, there's a black envelope with the Polar Pro logo on it. When you open that up, you'll find a series of cards inside. The first one you'll probably see is a card explaining what their quartz line set of filters is about. They make a really nice set of filters for full frame and mirrorless cameras. And on the back, there's an application that'll actually help you pick the right filter for the right shooting location when you're outside. There's a really nice thank you card. The team from Polar Pro is really excited about you buying the product and they wanna make sure that you understand how much they appreciate that purchase. It has a lifetime warranty. You'll find a lifetime warranty card in there as well that explains exactly what that limited warranty is and what you can expect if you ever have problems with it. I can't imagine you will, but if you do, there's a way to get a hold of the company there. Then there's a nice card that explains how to use the unit. Now I'll show you how to do that in person in a couple of seconds, but it's nice to know they put a card in there to explain it. There's information in there if you have questions or you want to get a hold of the Polar Pro team. And there's also some website addresses that have FAQs and some other Q&A stuff listed on their website. So that's a great resource to find all the details you need there. And then finally, they include a really nice set of Polar Pro logoed stickers, a black one and a white one. So you can put those on your car or your case or anywhere you want to stick them to let everybody out there know Know that you love the Polar Pro brand. Now we'll take a closer look at the mount and I'll explain some of its unique features. The first thing you'll probably notice is its circular design and I'm sure that was intentional to mimic the shape of the wireless module because once you slide that into the mount this really looks like one unit. The color matches perfectly and it's a very professional presentation. The mount itself is made from a high durability plastic. It's sort of a composite material. It's got a really nice rubberized feel on the outside of it. On the front you've got the Polar Pro logo. And there's a couple of ways you can actually mount this. The first is the quarter inch thread on the bottom, and that's perfect for a selfie stick or a windshield mount or any kind of tripod you've got that has a quarter inch thread on it. You also have the Arca Swiss mount that I talked about before. You can see the two wings on the bottom here. That slides right into a clamp for an Arca Swiss and you can tighten it down. It's very similar to a standard plate where you can see those wings on the bottom. Very, very similar. Let me flip it around. Very similar to that. So here are the two wings on the bottom. And that's what I like about it is its versatility to either use the quarter inch thread on the bottom or that Arca Swiss mount. To put the unit in, you're going to slide it in from this end. But before I do, I want to point out that they also have a cutout here for the USB connection. And that allows you to charge it once it's in the mount. So they've really thought of everything. So to put it in the unit, all you do is basically line up the USB with the opening and then gently slide it into the mount like this. And that mount is in there securely. That's not going anywhere. It's not even moving. The only challenge I've got with it, and the one question I'd give you, is once you mount this to your tripod or your selfie stick, when you slide that Osmo Pocket in the top, the only thing holding it into that wireless adapter is the friction between these two wings and the sides of that Osmo Pocket and the USB-C connection on the bottom. So you have to be very careful if you're waving your selfie stick around that Osmo Pocket could pop off here. Or if you've got a tripod and you're carrying it around, you want to make sure you pull the Osmo Pocket out before you move that thing too violently. But other than that, it's a beautiful setup. And again, you've got access to your USB-C connection over here on the side, so you can plug that into an external power source and really extend the life of your recording. Now I'll show you a few of my favorite mounting options that I've been using with the Polar Pro Wi-Fi tripod adapter. And we'll start off with a really basic tabletop tripod. Now I know this looks simple, but it's an incredibly versatile mount. It's my go-to mount for a lot of the filming I do. It's got a quarter inch stud in the top of it, which marries up perfectly with the collar in the base. Just spin it on down, get it finger tight, pop on your Osmo Pocket, and start filming. 
And I use this in a wide variety of circumstances. It's great for interviews. I've used it for product demonstrations or if I'm vlogging. It's also great to capture other footage as long as you've got a nice flat level surface where you can set it up and that way you know the Osmo Pocket's gonna stay where you put it. Now I know a lot of you are probably looking at this and thinking, why do I need to mess around with a tripod? Can I take that Wi-Fi base just set it up on a table. Well, you have to worry about adjusting it. Well, yeah, you can stick a box under it or books under it to raise it up, but it's a pain in the neck to sort of get it at the right height. On top of which, the Osmo Pocket's a little bit top heavy, and I always worry that if I set the thing up on a table and somebody nudges that table, it's gonna start wobbling and it may mess up the shot or it might fall over and cause damage to the Osmo Pocket. So I like having a nice stable base, and that's super important if you're doing any kind of long exposure photography or filming like hyperlapse type stuff because if it moves even a little bit it's going to mess up that footage. The other advantage this has is a lot of these bases have the ability to raise up or lower down to get the perfect angle on the shot you need. So I like the fact that I can raise it up or find that position that's the exact right angle. In addition to that this also makes a great selfie stick as you can fold the base in and it allows me to get up over a crowd to get some footage or get close to something. Or if I'm doing vlogging like this, I can have it far enough away from you to get a perspective on the background behind me. So it's a great way to go. The only thing I will warn you about is that the only thing holding this Osmo Pocket into that Wi-Fi base are these two flanges, the friction of these two flanges on either side and the connection up front with the USB-C. So if you're forgetting that and you've got it over your head and you're waving it around, I guarantee you the Osmo Pocket's gonna pop out of there and come tumbling down at you. And I can speak from experience because it's happened to me twice and you're probably wondering, why did it happen the second time? I just totally forgot, but it did pop off and I was able to catch it. So just be aware of that. All right, so that's the tripod. Now, in addition to that, that quarter inch thread in the bottom gives you a lot of other options for mounting. So one of the other options I use is this Joby mount. This is a, a vacuum mount that fits on a windshield in the car or any kind of glass or any kind of non-porous surface. But I like the Joby because that, that mount is so secure. When you put that on the windshield and you twist this collar, it pulls in on that assembly here and just sticks like it's not gonna move. So I put it on the windshield. It's got a quarter inch thread in the bottom of it right there, which again, matches up at the base. You basically screw it on the base, stick this to your windshield, spin this thing up and you can position. It's got a lot of different ways to move. It's a lot like the Gorilla tripod that's out there, but you can actually put it in the right position, put your Osmo Pocket in it, sit back in the car, and you can film while you're driving, you can vlog, you can spin it outside and capture some beautiful footage outside, and you've got the stabilized gimbal to make sure that footage is perfect. So, really good way to go. It's also a cheap way, if you don't want to go with a tripod, to mount it to a table. So I can vacuum seal this to something like this, that's for Mica if you want to use that, or if you're traveling and you need a small tripod. All right, the last one I want to talk about, which really expands the use of that base, is this adapter here. It's basically a quarter inch thread with a flange for a GoPro mount. So what this means is the minute I spin this on the bottom of the base, I can now use my vast arsenal <laughs> of GoPro accessories to mount this. So I can put it on my hat, on my chest, on various mounts I've got for surfboards or skateboards or whatever you're using out there. It just opens up a whole world of GoPro accessories that you can actually use to hold this thing down. So that quarter inch thread in the bottom is really an incredibly versatile attachment point. I was really happy to see that they had that. The big news though, is the Arca Swiss mount they built into it. So the fact that they've integrated a plate for an Arca Swiss mount really just expands the use case tremendously. Because if you've got a tripod, you've got some quick release plate on there, good chance you're using an Arca plate. If you're not, maybe you've got to get an adapter to make it work. But if you are using an Arca plate, it's ready to go right out of the box. So let me simulate a tripod here. I'll use this tabletop tripod. This is a Joby ball head mount. It's got the Arca clamp on it. So let me put this on the tripod. Let me spin this down so I don't whack myself. All right, here we go. All right, so let's pretend for a second that that's your tripod and you've got this Arca clamp on the top of it. All you have to do is slide this thing in there and tighten it up and you're good to go. There's no other attachments needed, and then you can position that anywhere you need it. So when I pop the Osmo Pocket on there, I can adjust this for the perfect, perfect angle out there. Now, the nice thing too is if I'm using, maybe I'm using the small portable tripod outside, I can also increase the height of it and still adjust this. So it gives me a tremendous amount of adjustment and you know I can, I can frame it exactly like I need it. So I like it a lot. One other advantage of this mount, which I talked about before, is the fact that they built in this little viewing window here for the USB-C connection. Now, when I'm using it on a full-size tripod or a small tripod like this, and I'm taking any kind of long exposure shots or I'm gonna be outside for an awful long time, the battery in this lasts pretty well, but I'd like to have a little bit of extra power so I can use a standard USB-A to USB-C connection cable, pop it in the back, and then use maybe a portable battery bank like this to power up my Osmo Pocket when I'm out in the field. And that way, 
I can film for hours, literally, with this additional battery bank outside. And if I'm using it on a tripod, most of the cables are not long enough to let this lay on the ground. Not that you want to let a battery bank lay in wet grass anyway, but I put a little bit of Velcro on the back. And the trick I do is take the other side of the Velcro and wrap it around one of the legs of my tripod. I stick this to it and it's not going to go anywhere. And that way I've got plenty of power to run this thing for an afternoon. So those are just some of the options I use for the Osmo Pocket with this mount. And again, I love it. I think it's, it's a well-designed product that looks great. It's stable, it's inexpensive, and it has so many different ways that I can use it with the different mounts I own. It just makes it a lot easier to use my Wi-Fi module. So that's pretty much it for this clip. I hope you enjoyed it. If I've missed anything or you have questions on anything I've covered, please drop those in the comments below and I promise to get back to you as quickly as I can. If you need links for this stuff, I'll put links on the channel for all this. Um, you know, and again, these are just some of the mounts you can use with it. As long as it's got a quarter inch thread, or it's an Arca Swiss mount, it'll work with this particular uh, mounting base. So keep that in mind when you're out there searching for things. But we also offer the base. So we've, like I said, made a partnership together with Polar Pro. We're offering some of their products on our website now. So if you want to support the channel, hit the link below, buy it from us. We ship for free and we can get it there faster than Amazon. So if you're going to want to support the channel, that's a great way to go. The last thing I'll say is if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down there. I have a ton more content coming, both on Osmo products, a bunch of Wi-Fi products that I'm going to talk about in a couple of clips. I've got a lot of drone footage coming as well and a lot of drone accessories and tips and tricks around that tech as well. You know how much I love high tech and love talking about it. So if you're a fan of the channel, hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss anything we post. So thanks an awful lot for watching and until next time, happy flying.